Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today in this video, I'm gonna show, how to create Clover EFI for Intel desktops. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. Before getting started with this guide, make sure that your hardware is compatible with Mac OS, and you have complete system specifications of the target system on which you'll be installing Mac OS. To find your system information, follow the guide from the i button. Also, you'll get the support list of different components on our forum. The links are added in the video description. This guide is specifically focused on Mac users, as editing the Clover's config p list is quite a tedious job on Windows or Linux. You can follow this guide on a virtual machine if you don't have access to a Mac. Also, let me tell you that this is a basic EFI guide and does not cover post-installation steps, which means you'll be only able to boot the Mac OS installer and install the Mac OS without any problems. However, it's very likely possible that certain hardware features may not work, and such hardware must be fixed accordingly after installation. Now, for creating Clover EFI you'll need, an open core package, Clover bootloader, Clover configurator for editing config plist, and Kex as per your system requirements. Now download the required files as shown. All the links will be provided under the video description. After downloading the required files, extract them as shown and place them according to your ease of access. Now after extracting all the files, plug in macOS bootable USB, and then open Clover bootloader package, and continue with the installation. When at destination type page, click on change install location, and select your macOS bootable USB, and then click on continue. Now here, click on customize, and then change the following options as shown. After altering the settings, click on install, and continue with the installer. After the installation is complete, click on close, now open the mounted EFI partition, and navigate to the following path. And now place the required ACPI files according to your system specification. You can find the ACPI files in the mentioned path of the open core package. 
as my target system is Comet Lake, so I'll be using the ACPI accordingly. After placing the ACPI files, it's time for the drivers, go to the drivers folder and then delete the buyers folder. And now under the UEFI folder, place the OpenHFS Plus, from the drivers folder of OpenCore. And now after placing the drivers, it's time to place the required kexts, go to the kext folder, and then delete all the folders, except other. And now place all the kexts in the kexts other folder. After placing the kexts, now it's time to create the config plist for the EFI. Firstly delete the current config plist present in the EFI's Clover folder, and then open Clover Configurator. Now in the Clover Configurator, go to the ACPI tab, and make the following changes accordingly. If your hardware is of Sandy Bridge or Ivy Bridge, you'll need to create the listed two entries under the drop table section. Now, you'll need to disable the listed properties under the SSDT section, and under the Generate Options section. These specific properties are automatically injected if they are not set to false, in the config plist causing unnecessary delay during boot. By default, these properties are already disabled. But in this version of the Clover release it injects automatically, also currently we're unaware of when the issue will be fixed. So to disable these properties in this current release of Clover, first enable these properties, and then uncheck them to disable. After making changes in ACPI tab, move to the boot tab, and here add the following boot args one by one, and then change the following settings. After making changes in boot tab, move to the devices tab, and here change the following settings. After making changes in the Devices tab, move to the GUI tab, and here change the following settings. After making changes in the GUI tab, move to the Graphics tab, and here change the following setting. After making changes in the Graphics tab, move to the Kernel and Kext Patches tab, and here change the following settings.
Now, if your target hardware is Rocket Lake Alder Lake or Raptor Lake slash Raptor Lake Refresh, you'll need to use fake CPU ID, mentioned below. After making changes in the kernel and kext patches tab, move to the RT variable tab, and here change the following settings. After making changes in the RT variable tab, move to the SMBIOS tab, and here change the following settings. Now, here you'll have to select the system product name in short, you'll have to pick an SMBIOS which is the closest match to your target system CPU model, like mine is an Intel Core i5-10400. So in that case, I'll be using iMac 21 Intel Core i5-10500. After making changes in the SMBIOS tab, Move to the System Parameters tab, and here change the following setting. After making changes in the System Parameters tab, move to the Quirks tab, and here adjust the following quirks. After making changes in the booter section, move to the kernel section, and here adjust the following quirks. Now after making all the changes, click on file, then save the config plist, to the following path. After saving the plist, quit Clover Configurator, and then verify the config plist. And now, everything is done, eject the bootable USB with configured Clover EFI, and then plug the USB to your target system, and boot it using the USB. Here I'm booting without configuring the BIOS as I have already configured it earlier. And as you can see, the installer has been successfully booted with the created EFI and now you can proceed with the installation. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.